The word Southey is uh, an old name in the parish of Cookham. And I'm talking about when Cookham itself stretched right the way to the A4. Yes, even the High Street Maidenhead, anything north of that was in the parish of Cookham. And uh, so when uh, Maidenhead decided to stretch its town boundaries in the year 1934, uh, some of these fields were renamed by Lord and Lady Astor. The note by the A4094 there's a letter MBS and then to the right there's another MBS. Well that is a Maidenhead boundary stone which was uh, set up in 1934 in the summer of 1934 and uh, so some of White Place Farm fell into the town of Maidenhead. And uh, it was 1934. I remember it very well because I was four years old when my mother took me over to see the uh, blessing of the stone or whatever it was. Everybody, all I can remember is that the gentlemen were all wearing top hats. <laughs> but uh, Lord and Lady Astor were there. So, uh, the upper and lower Southey, uh, the name Southey stretched originally uh, right the way through to North Town. Uh, named, I believe, after a previous owner back in history. And uh, the Astors decided that they would rename their pastures. And Upper Southey and Lower Southey were two separate fields. They're not that way now, but you can see the marks where they were. And then there was another field which is not quite shown here in the bottom right, uh, left-hand corner. Uh, Maidenhead Field, but we'll talk about that later. But those boundary markers were still there, oh, 20 years ago, I remember seeing them. And uh, they're going right the way through to the River Thames, and I've got them marked where you can actually find them, or should be able to find them, today. The old sand pit was a gravel pit that, uh, because of the amount of sand and gravel that was required in building, uh, they dug their way and excavated there. And it was a rare old rabbit warren, I can tell you. Rabbits took over and made it quite a, a sight. And uh, that was the start of my... Uh, snaring rabbits, would you believe. The other mark that you see here, uh, where the blue line runs across the top right-hand corner of Whitbrook Stream, is the Aster decoy, uh, duck decoy pond. Now that was set up by uh, Bill Aster, and uh, after uh, a pheasant shoot or partridge shoot uh, that they would have on the farm. In the evening time he would uh, uh, take his friends there and they would uh, sit in little potholes, waterproof potholes around the pond uh, waiting for uh, ducks to come in. Of course they had uh, decoys floating in the pond but the pond today I think is all overgrown like anything else. Well, that's it for now, so I hope you've enjoyed this.
Bye, and we'll uh, come again uh, with a little bit more on Southie and Upper Southie. Bye for now.